couldn't already tell, I did um, experiment with my hair a little. And it turned out, oh. I tend to feel pretty rude, if I'm totally honest, because obviously when people try to talk to me, I don't understand most of what they say. Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I just thought I would film today just kind of like a little day in the life type video I guess but I did actually film a little bit this morning because it's already 3 p.m. but we're just about to head out for the day so I finally got myself ready and like dressed but the weather outside in the moment is absolutely atrocious so if you can hear anything in the background it's literally like the storm outside it's so windy it's been raining all morning when i took um nacho out this morning he was not loving it so i got a little bit of footage on my phone because it was honestly i don't know like it's not even bucketing down with rain but i just got drenched from the drizzle and then the wind and because we're so close to the beach here it was just yeah the bing this close to the beach is amazing in summer or on a sunny day, but when it's miserable like today, not so fun. But essentially, I just wanted to yeah, show what we get up to for the day. I've already done a bit of work this morning, um, got a few things done, tried to set up some like freelancy type stuff. I can talk a little bit more about that later, but oh, and I did a little workout. So that was kind of my morning. And now we're heading off to the shops because I desperately need to dye my hair again. Um, I was kept tossing up the idea of actually going and getting it professionally done, but it looks like even here it's gonna cost me over like a hundred US dollars and I just don't really wanna spend that kind of money right now. So I'm gonna attempt one more time to bleach it myself, pray for my hair. Um, I'm gonna do that later this afternoon so you will see that in this vlog if it has gone well, if it's gone awful. But this side here <gasps> is probably the worst and it really looks bad when I like pull it up like this because you can see just like the patches of color. So my main objective is to just make it even and obviously I do have a bit of re like regrowth because it's been maybe two and a half, three weeks now since I bleached it last. I wanted to give my hair a bit of a break and I think that was the right move, but now I'm ready to jump back in and fix it up because I got to film my video for the week tomorrow and I just want to be looking a little less ratchet by then. But also, we got some new studio lights. So if you're wondering why the lighting is suddenly not so awful, I was originally going to do a whole video about on your equipment, but I don't know if I'm going to bother with that anymore. But again, when we're home this afternoon, I might just show you the new lights and the new setup. We got two box lights and then a new tripod, but um, yeah, just, you know, a few little bonus things to just improve the setup a little bit. I had a ring light and a tripod back in Adelaide, but of course I didn't bring them with us on the plane or anything, so they're still back in long-term storage in Adelaide um but yeah that's the day so far I'm gonna head out into the awful weather grab an uber and get to the shops so are you ready to go yeah okay one second just gotta put on like 12 layers and then I'm good to go leave everything so that you can't pull anything down yeah He's <laughs> Nacho doesn't like it when we go out and leave him behind, like I'm sure most dogs do. But I had two beanies with pom-poms on them, and this is what both of them look like now. He pulled them down off of their little, like, hallway rack thing, and pulled out all of the fluff. So, He's a pretty good dog, but he definitely has his moments where he is not a good boy. <laughs> anyway, off now and let's hope he stays this cute while we're gone. Why'd they do it? Can I? Are they still alive? Can I find them? We're gonna go. We're gonna go find them. It's parents, because I want to kill him. 
But I also love them. But I'm, I want to turn them into a hat. But I can't, because that would be an ugly hat. <laughs> be great. Do you, you want to explain what happened? Just Watch your profanity. Eventually. We're very easy to break, very delicate. And we got a giraffe and a zebra on our trip to South Africa, which is great. And how much time did we spend delicately wrapping them to pack them no, in a the suitcase? Like, at least like 15 minutes. And then like half an hour of finding the right space so it wouldn't get broken on the trip home. Survived. Mm -hmm. than... All the way from South Africa to South America. Yep. Um, no, survive a six or three day trip, three to six days in a car in between us on a chair. Fine. Mm -hmm. Then an entire trip from South Africa to here. Fine. And then, well, yeah. It's actually really depressing. <laughs> we had them on top of our shelf, which like I said earlier, at the beginning of this vlog, he's been pulling off our like jackets and things and grabbing my hat and pulling them apart. I think it's just a separation anxiety, just like, look, I'm pissed off, you leaving me. Yeah, and like we like this is how his lead was, and the jacket wasn't here because he was wearing this. But his little jacket and then his lead is like all coiled up, so he would have had to like jump on top of the base of it with such force that they fell off the top. Also, Alex's camera was on the floor. So far, still looks like it's working fine. It's thank it's, it, it, goodness. It definitely, yeah. It's it's. We um, want to upgrade anyway, but we do not have the finances to upgrade it. It, it definitely time. makes it definitely makes a new noise when I take a photo, which is something clicking, which Ugh. didn't click before. So, um, but it's also like ten years old, maybe more, and it's still working fine. I mean, I've yeah. So, long story short, he's, we need he's, to yeah. get the dog a crate for when we're not here, because I mean, yes, we should have secured this thing to the wall, but the, like it still didn't fully topple over. He just rocked it enough that our things fell off the top. So. Like yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm happy he's not squished, which it could have definitely, like he would have been saved barely if he was quick, which he, he would have been because like, he's an idiot, but he's not a slow idiot at least. So that was a fun thing to come home to, but I was in a really good mood from the shop. We got everything we needed. I was going to sit down and do a little haul, but now I'm going to have to this isn't a beating stick, this is the only stick he likes to pick yeah, up. Yeah, that is his toy. This is his toy. I mean, no. you do get some strange looks people, when you walk down the street me, with yeah. the stick. Yeah, but it's the only stick that he actually plays with. He mm -hmm. picked it himself. Just saying, just... Cause... So, I will come back and continue this vlog in an hour, maybe, when we are no longer quite so annoyed and upset. And he's not in his own... In time out. No, he's in his own quarantine. Yeah. Oops. So yeah. Get a dog. Get a like pile of fucking dirt. Yeah. Okay, so it has been a few hours and I'm back at the scene of the crime with um, my zebra foot. I realized after they broke just how much I loved those little animals and we're gonna, I don't know, maybe when Alejandro's parents come to visit they can bring us some more to replace them because I really think these are beyond repairing at this point. Like the pieces are just too small to glue back together. But essentially, after I realized that it was after 5 p.m. and it was officially acceptable to have a glass of wine, I feel a whole lot better. And I have brushed my hair and I'm just about ready to get to dying. Uh, I was gonna show you all of the things we got at the shop, but really I think it's only important right now to see the dye because I'm just not really in a huge chatty filming mood. So I think I'm just gonna yeah, like show what dye I'm using. This is the box we got. It 
It was the best I've seen so far. We went all the way to Punta Caretas, which is like a shopping mall, because I'd seen when I was there last time that there was a store all the way at the top that had, it was essentially just like a big, not pharmacy, but like cosmetic store, I guess. And they had a whole, t like a whole wall full of hair dyes. So um, there were plenty of options. There were even like, they had just the developer and then the bleach you could buy separately. But we couldn't quite get our hands on someone to like help us out with that. And it just seemed, when it comes to bleaching your hair at home, I was watching some videos earlier this morning, so I didn't mess up my hair again. But you want to get all the components right. And it's hard enough, like it's complicated enough in English. So like I know the terms in English, but I don't speak Spanish very well. And Alejandro speaks Spanish a lot better than me, but he doesn't know that much about bleaching hair because obviously he's never done it before. So um, we end up just going with the box kit and I feel pretty happy that it's gonna be reasonable. Um, last time we just used a L'Oreal one, but this is like, I guess a local brand. I don't know. It's so decolorante is bleach, um, but it comes with a toner as well. Cause that's what I was looking for. We There were plenty of different options for bleach, but I couldn't find like a toner because obviously toner is not called a toner over here but tonalizador 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 i don't know but this comes with a caramel toner so it's supposed to ideally my hair is going to be like this at the end but we will see about that i even actually i didn't bring them in here with me but i did even buy some little like pink hair dye they had little sachets of pink hair dye for like 150 pesos, not even 150, it was like 115. So I got two of those. So if all else fails with the bleaching of my hair, I'm just gonna dye it pink and wait until I can afford to spend like the hundred and something US dollars on getting it done professionally. But I have all my things here. So I think I'm just gonna show you what my hair is looking like right now. I'm gonna look up another video just to make sure that I'm not, that I'm like pretty confident with what I'm doing then section my hair out and get to dyeing. So I'm probably gonna make a TikTok about this. So if you're not already following me on TikTok and you wanna see, um, go follow me over there because it will have already been up by now. Um, and otherwise I will hop on this vlog tomorrow when I'm feeling a bit better and I will show you in the you know daylight. Hopefully it's not pouring with rain again tomorrow what my new hair looks like. So take a good look at this atrocious like honestly, this part here is just like the funniest. Um, so I'm excited for that to be gone. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new head of hair. Unless anything else super dramatic or traumatizing happens tonight. <laughs> Many tic tacs later. And ta-da! So my hair actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting. Thank goodness. There was a moment there when I was dyeing it and the bleach was in and I hadn't quite washed it out yet that my roots looked way lighter than the rest of my hair but I think the toner helped to even it out and while it's still not perfect the, the patch over on this side of my head is almost blended it's it's still kind of there but like way less noticeable than it was before so I would say all around that was a successful hair dyeing experience and I saved a good hundred dollars by doing it myself. But um, yeah, the so next day, clearly I've gotten all ready to film my video. I just thought I would show you our new filming lights and tripod while I am vlogging. And then that'll pretty much be it for today because I'm gonna be filming all afternoon. It's maybe like 3 p.m. already now, almost four. So I've got to film, film, film all night so that I can get editing all day tomorrow. But these are the lights. So it's like bending over at the moment, obviously. But this is the brand. It's like T Tian Rui. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I believe it's a Japanese brand. But we've got two of these and they came in a full set with like an LED light in there. And then a tripod. This one, an S-pod this thing so it will just make everything so much easier for this video and for all videos in the future because not having a tripod or any kind of artificial lighting is just 
has been really rough. Um, like I meant, I think I already said this in this vlog, but if not, I have a tripod back in Adelaide as well as a ring light, which was, the ring light was pretty expensive. The tripod was kind of cheap. It was a lot cheaper than this one anyway, but this was, I think it cost like a hundred dollars, which again is pretty pricey, but it's a really good quality one and we're not going to need to upgrade it anytime soon. Even when we upgrade cameras and are doing more like advanced stuff, the tripod will still work for everything that we plan to do in the future. So it was an investment, but we're going to keep using it. Same with the lights. We technically are probably only going to use one for, for most things, even though it comes like in a set of two. But we have actually overloaded our... Um, like the power in this apartment before just by using like the microwave and the kettle and things so i don't want to risk plugging in both lights and like blowing a fuse so and one is pretty strong on its own so for now one is plenty but again if in future we're doing more like advanced stuff or like in bigger rooms doing like bigger shoots then at least we have an extra one but that's pretty much going to be it for today. I will, of course, link the video down below if you want to go check it out. I'm doing a little haul of my new latex clothing. Um, so that will have been gone up on Friday. The Friday before you're seeing this video. Um, go check it out. I'm going to be working... Well, I've already worked super hard on it and I haven't even filmed it yet. So there's going to be a whole lot more work that goes into it today, tomorrow, and Friday to get the video perfect. But yeah, successful hair... We got all our equipment. Oh, we even got our mirror. Finally. Ta-da. This showed up actually probably last week. It was like a week and a half late, but that was a long story that we do not need to get into. Now, the mirror is exactly what I wanted, but it just took a lot longer than expected to arrive. So thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this vlog leave any questions down below i will actually try and link the camera equipment down in the description box if you want to go check it out yourself if you're interested same with the camera i'm using it's just the canon g7x um yeah thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>